but Leffler is right there on the preferred line. Almirola doing everything he can to try and overcome that pit road miscue. Both of them go high. Three wide to the bottom comes Elliot Sadler. Three wide as they head to the dog leg. Sadler takes the Keselowski line downstairs. And he will bypass Jason Leffler. He'll get by Eric Almirola. Now he'll go around. Elliot Sadler into the outside retaining wall. Jason Leffler is involved. So is Eric Almirola. And now here comes Jeremy Clements and Morgan Shepard piles into the car of Jason Leffler. A vicious blow. Elliot Sadler sitting down on the apron on the inside. Three cars in the middle of the racetrack. Morgan Shepard, Eric Elmarola, and Jason Leffler all here in turn number four. That could be your championship right there, Dan Hubbard. Absolutely. On the part of Elliot Sadler, the only man who could challenge Ricky Stenhouse for the championship. Sadler just went from hero to zero in just a space of 150 yards. Pulling a bold move through the dog leg, it was good for two positions and then losing the handle in turn three. The problem is when you use the Keselowski line, and Brad is the only guy who really did it well this afternoon, by the time, Jeff, you get down to turn three in front of you, the car is pushing hard up the banking, and that's what happened to Elliott Sadler. He just couldn't hold it down. Well, you know, and I'm just not so sure that he didn't get some contact from the back end. And by the way, the good news is is that Elliott is up and out of his race car, kind of pounds the top of the roof in obvious uh, disjection. And now just to focus on the uh, other drivers involved here, a vicious lick uh, when Morgan Shepard got in and literally took the back end off of Jason Leffler's car. Jason now has climbed out of his machine. Eric Elmarola now popping up out of his car, waiting on Morgan Shepard to come out. All of these drivers headed to the infield care center. But, uh, Joe, it's just hard to see or say whether or not somebody got into the back of Elliott. He made that bonsai run down the, the inside, tried to make it stick, almost like a World of Outlaws car where you just kind of slide across the nose of the other drivers. Elliott had that pass made, but then he obviously had to get on the brakes, get the car under control, and that stacked everybody up behind him. And, man, oh, man, I'll tell you what, it was some vicious crash down here in turn number three, all ending up almost into the middle of turn number four. Sadler's body language would indicate that he did get help going into turn three. He is looking for another driver, and I don't want to name who it is until we hear from Elliot Sadler, but apparently there was some contact when he went into turn three. Well, again, let's remember, when he left turn two, they were three wide. He was down at the bottom of the racetrack, so there certainly was the opportunity for that. He had the uh, the lead. He had passed both those cars before he got to turn number three. So uh, until we see the replay, we don't know for sure. But uh, pretty safe bet there was some contact going off into the corner. And now they've stopped the cars on the back straight away. The red flag is out because there's a ton of cleanup taking place between turns three and four. So while they make that cleanup, we will take a break. 25 laps remain in the Whitehall 200. <laughs> 